protein bars as well. Hello, how are you? This morning we're going to 24 hour fitness. I'm recording on the iPhone 7 this morning, so hopefully this quality is good. If it's not, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> There you go. Oh, dude, super easy. Yeah. That's pretty strong. One, two, one, three. Today we're going off Meg's programming. Four sets, ten reps. Ten reps is a lot of reps. Is on an incline? CrossFit is usually strength, like up to five, three reps. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or like just volume. A million reps, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so like building your work capacity. This is kind of like the in-between, but it's nice. Last set, best set? No. I say it. Sometimes you get tired, lazy. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been my best set, actually. I love it, man. That's like one of my favorite exercises. The thing is with barbells, especially in CrossFit, a lot of it is like barbell orientated, so when you're pushing with a barbell, you can favor one shoulder. If you do it with dumbbells, you have to like, mm -hmm. you have to push the same weight on both sides. So, it kind of stops any imbalances. Love them. Behind the scenes of Meg squats. <laughs> Finishing off today's session with 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. And, oh man, I don't know if you can see it. The Hollywood sign is like right there. Oh, yeah. Today's session, I would say it was a solid eight, which is pretty good for like just like waking up and being like, oh, we're gonna go to the gym. Okay, let's go. But, You're uh, so English, <laughs> right? You have Briggs and Team Richie on. He's, oh, I do. He's proper English. I just he's proper I just, English. My uh, my goal has always been to be more like you. So you trained this morning and you took my dad. Yeah, he had a good time and then he came for the coffee with doctor as well. Just uh, did my daily catch up with Jasmine. <laughs> I miss her. This morning was like super raw footage. I just. It's kind of a different style for me, but I shot it all on my iPhone 7 because apparently 24 hour fitness don't really like the size. But now I'm like, I'm more in casual clothes. I'm in like jeans and what, would you, what did you call my t-shirt? A Guma shirt. What's that? Christian Guzman shirt. <laughs> I'm in a Guma shirt and my knocker hat because we're going to the LA Fit Expo and this is gonna be the first expo that I've ever attended outside of the UK. I've only ever attended Body Power. So gonna be epic. Video kind of starts here, but I wanted to show you guys the workout. Cause it was at work. <laughs> We're getting my fourth ever Uber to the expo. <laughs> Ask her if she wants to stay a while and she will Oh so excited. So excited. I'm gonna have no voice. It's gonna be awesome. It's the first person I've been recognized by today. Yes, let's go. I'm 17 hours away from my front door. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Welcome to the UK or welcome to the United States. So what happened was I first I started watching Craig and then I bought a barbell and then I bought a bumper plate and then now I'm a CrossFit addict. So thank you, Craig. Oh, Chalk, chalk. chalk. You know, like as a CrossFitter, you're like, look for chalk. <laughs> Trousers. Come on, you got it. Yeah. Casual CrossFit in jeans and it's an Adidas. Yeah. <laughs> I think the plan is like we've talked to the guys here and maybe tomorrow I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna happen in the video But we may get the whole house to come and do a CrossFit workout right here in the LX Fit Expo A little bit out of breath <laughs> But that was cool That's so nice, I like the bar It's 56 Absolutely crazy. I gotta keep up with CrossFit is one of those things that like people think that you get injured and you burn out and your joints kind of cave in but if you just see that photo there, 55 years old, 
and unbelievably shredded. It's kind of weird, we've come to the, the LA Fit Expo and for me it's a totally different experience. Like when I was into bodybuilding, the Body Power Expo and everything like that was like a dream. Whereas now I just look for a barbell. <laughs> and we, we found a rig and we're kind of gutted because they have a competition on here and me and John didn't know about it or else we would have entered it because it was a pairs competition. How cool would that have been? <laughs> we just saw something like like totally out of this staggering. universe that I can't staggering I can't even talk about. First part of the expo done this morning and it's been kind of a blast. It's crazy to see how many people we try and we try and cover like 10 meters at a time before getting stopped with this guy. <laughs> it's been it's been crazy. Like I I really feel like I have the the best people that come up to me at expos. Everyone sure. has a story, right? Yeah. It's awesome. And it's just, for me, it's like super inspiring to hang around with someone like John. Because he's, he said to me earlier, he's like, oh, sorry, man, like, we, we want to get food. I, I know we're getting there. Well, I was like, dude, you created this. You know, like, it wasn't his obligation to, to lose that amount of weight and put it on YouTube and share the experience with the world. It's just something that he wanted to do and it inspires so many people. So I was like, dude, just enjoy it. Just enjoy. I'm having a blast with this guy, man. I think I have a new best friend. I'm gonna miss him in like ten days' time. When I leave. I think that guy supported the Raiders. I'm not quite sure. Who do you support? The Chargers. That's a huge thing in my world. San Diego Chargers might leave San Diego, so. Boom. Then I will be a lost fan without a cause. It's cool hanging out with someone that's like as passionate and we are similar in the way that we do things. It's been like so Well, basically, I just copy you, but whatever. <laughs> What's a brew tea? Is that like an English tea? It's like a black. It's just. This is my first sit-down meal in the U.S. of like any restaurant. We went to we went to a vegan place, but this is like my first proper U.S. U.S. experience of a sit-down meal. Yeah, football on the big screen. We've come to a place called Tom's Up, a place where they don't just do pizzas; they do damn good pizzas. <laughs> like country music in it. I'm in a total like... <laughs> I told you, man. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy. Don't cry, bro. Don't cry. I'm in a bar with like TVs and American stuff and music, country music playing and I'm getting a burger. Life, goals, tick. The song is called That's My Kind of Night by Luke Bryan. Which, I don't really know what that is. YouTubers, especially fitness YouTubers, always talking about the food. I. Apparently I put out the episode yesterday and I didn't feature any food and people were like worried. Barbecue bacon jalapeno burger, nothing special, nice and spicy, got a little condiment swirl on there, delicious, have a good time guys. <laughs> that was awesome man. <laughs> <laughs> Every person I met here so far has been absolutely like so friendly. Good food. Good food. It was great food. Great food. <laughs> now we are we're energized. We have enough energy to go back into the expo and kill this last session, right? Exactly Let's what he said. It. Give me a hug. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dude, the whole the, the, I think my American experience is just going to be full of him. <laughs> right. Can you do that? Um, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Those guys are so strong. The amount of respect that I have for that is like. Insane. Lolo Ardondo uh, from Long Beach, California. Big fan of the channel, been following for a while. Follow this guy, he's awesome. Thank you. David, LA. Part of the team? I don't know, I don't have a hat. <laughs> Day one of the expo done, and my feet really hurt. It's really cool though, seeing a completely different kind of style of expo. 
and just seeing John just get fan girled everywhere. <laughs> it was mainly Craig doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's guns right there. I told you he's a superstar. Oh yeah, here comes it. Wait, yeah, wait, here comes another one. Oh, yep, yeah. nailed it. What's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> you can't take this guy anywhere. I've been wanting to do this transition all day, and I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but here we go. Ready? Ready? You can you can jump with me. Right. Three, two, one. Fancy. <laughs> You look swollen. Try it, try it, try it. Oh, it. nailed it. I'm so white in this light. I'm gonna end the video here. Expos are super hard to film, so I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. It's the most humbling experience when you're 17 hours away from your front door, halfway around the world, and I think I had like five, six people come up to us that. <laughs> like, it's absolutely crazy. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. I just hope you enjoy the content, and if you're not, thank you for sticking around. Jasmine has actually sent me some clips from Faber. I'm gonna insert them. So if you're missing my box, then this is what they did. They did a 20 minute AMRAP of 20 thrusters, 20 kettlebell swings, 20 chest bar pull-ups in a pair. So enjoy. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Jeff's getting his kip in. Did you like that, Jeff? Yeah, that's good. Yeah? You're getting better. Good job, good job today. Good.